so here at this station we have a fourth demonstration of refraction. I've got a beaker filled with a mystery liquid. Well, it's not a mystery liquid. What is that liquid? It's oil. It's, oil. it's vegetable oil. Um, it's used in cooking and all this sort of stuff, but uh, let's just say you shouldn't use this oil because it's sitting in a beaker. Now this oil has a particular, what we would say, index of refraction. And so the index of refraction, like I mentioned earlier, is simply how slow the light, quote, slow, the light is going to get in this particular substance. Remember, you can think of light as a wave, and the medium dictates the speed. Okay? So every time you change mediums, the speed changes. What's interesting about this oil is it's Wesson oil. Wesson brand vegetable oil. Um, what's interesting about that is that the speed of light in this oil is almost the same as the speed of light in Pyrex glass. So I mention that because this beaker is Pyrex. It is the brand Pyrex. Um, what's interesting about this is that there's actually a second beaker here. Some of you can see it. But it's a little difficult because when I put the second beaker in here, it has the same index of refraction as the glass. And so it's a little bit harder to see this beaker here that was doused in the oil. Now if you look carefully, like it's pretty obvious it has this you know, label and stuff printed on the side, so that's always easy to see. But when I put it back in here, you can see, you know, like, oh, I can see there's totally a beaker there. That's because right now the smaller beaker is filled with what? It's filled with air. But as the smaller beaker begins to fill with oil, it kind of disappears. And it makes sense if you think about just oil. If I took oil and I poured more oil into it, would I be able to see the old oil from the new oil? No. And that's why this beaker basically disappears as it goes back down in there. So let me uh, get a better grip on this. Alright, so here we go. So you should be able to see there's no problem and then as the oil fills up it basically just disappears. 